Hello, my name is Mike Prom. In this video, we'll be looking at the Beam Calculator tool inside of Inventor. Now, this is part of the standard suite, and to get started, I'm just going to use my Frame Generator tool to quickly insert a couple different beams inside of my assembly. Now, using Frame Generator, I can quickly just use a sketch, and uh, by using the frame members that are inside my content center, I can use that sketch line to place my beams or my tubes. In this case, I'm just going to make a real quick tube um, support and then put an I-beam across the top. Now I should mention that this content center with all these different components is completely customizable. You can make any shape that you'd like to be published inside of here and then use that shape to create your components inside of my frame generator tool. Now, once I have all my components selected and inserted, notice that I can place how I want the, the line to be referenced. Uh, select OK, places the models inside of there. Also inside of my frame generator tool, I have capabilities of quickly uh, making edits to my members. In this case, I'm just going to select a face and trim it, the other components to that face. Also, I can use other tools like my miter tool to quickly just make a nice finished uh, edge on the bottom there. Now, with that done, I'd like to now take a look at that beam calculator tool I was talking about. The really nice thing about this is I can reuse geometry that's already in my design for my beam calculator. Simply by selecting my component I want to do my calculations on, then confirming what kind of member it is. It uses the information from frame generator to automatically populate the fields of the shape. I also have capabilities of changing uh, what style of uh, metal or material that I'm using for this beam. Again, that's all completely customizable using my styles and standards. Now inside of here, you can see I can adjust my loads. I have a single load. I can have a um, constant force load. Also, I have different um, support options. Now in this case, I had a couple of quick uh, supports uh, for the three different members. Notice that I can quickly drag and uh, move my force and also where my different supports are. And when I do this, notice that the graph automatically is going to update. And along with the graph along the right hand side, you're going to notice that all the calculations and numbers are going to be populated as well. What is happening here is Inventor is using the uh, machinist or engineering handbook to run all these calculations um, with the interface here we're using the information in the model to put all the information as far as materials and size of the components to do the calculation so I'm simply just adding my loads where my forces are and I can make adjustments or changes and help me better decide you know what kind of beam or what kind of tube I should be doing um, even before I get into the process of doing my FEA analysis so this is just using calculations to create these graphs and these charts and then from here I can go on and build my model um, again this is a, a pre-step as I'm building my design before I go through and do any FEA analysis again my name is Mike Prom with Plan Engineering if you have any questions please contact us thank you